fashion. Huss. Elam Road. Huss. Shout out to my Huss. boy E. Keep it going. Huss. This for you, boy. Huss. Boy, I got a unique Huss. I had to get it out the mud. I Huss. I ain't waiting on. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Well, go on. Hey, man. So when I first started the podcast, man, I said, you know what, man? I gotta, I gotta try to hit the core, the the the, the stuff that make Dallas what it is, man. The things that make Dallas pretty much the the the, the grinders in Dallas, man. Say, man, and I, I kept on. I, I went through a couple of people. I said, man, I gotta get a little run in on this show, man. And guess what, man? God is good, man. Lil Ronnie is here, man. What's Alakazam, up, brother? You feel me? What's happening? Say, man, it's good to see you. You manifested this. It's easy. Man, I've been hey, I've been asking for you ever since we started it up. Hey, I appreciate you. Ever since. I'm like, I gotta get that boy, man. There's a couple of them. I I know a little people, you know a few people. Mm-hmm. You I know say, enough people. Yeah, I said, <laughs> I know a little I, I, I can get him. You got the right network. And then, and then we ain't we ain't burn no bridges. We fresh. Yeah, yeah, you We've got been the right in business network. like like forever, so we have to treat people right. You know what I mean? So we thank you for coming on the show, man. Appreciate y'all for having me. Boss Talk 101, man. Boss Talk 101. Say it's going going down. We talking with the bosses, man. (laughs) (laughs) So, hey, I'm going to start off by saying what I always say, man. Just give us a little spiel on who you are because... Hey, everybody gonna be seeing this. So Christ who y'all are and, and just kind of give us a, just a rundown. What's I, going on? If I, I go by the name of Little Running Mother. If you feel what I'm oh, saying, really? your favorite ball head hoe. You yeah, dig what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. The undergoat himself. You feel what I'm saying? Used to have a hot time. Now it ain't there no more. But hey, man, <laughs> um, I'm from Dallas, Texas. You feel what I'm saying? I've been putting the groundwork in probably here heavily for like. 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Since I was a kid, like when I had teen on my name. Yeah. Like, like on my age, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody out here know me. I can't lie. I can't fake. Like, they, everybody watch me grow. Man. So that's really the beauty of it. Like, I'm comfortable. I'm happy. You can tell. Yeah. You, you can know, tell. The I process. Mean, I, got, I actually got, got to see the process. You and I'm still in it. You feel what I'm saying? But I got to see what I've done thus far. And it's like, man, it just makes me happy to know that if God give me 10 more, 20 more years, I know what type of things I can do in that time frame. When I was doing it this time, I didn't know. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? 15 years ago. Yeah. So, but do you use some of that knowledge to help the younger generation of that's course, coming up? Of course. Of course. You have to. Ago. Yeah. But what I've learned with the younger generation is... <laughs> Some of them don't want to listen. It ain't they don't. They not listening. They don't. <laughs> it's just what it is. They naive. They sound. They just like me. But a lot of them, you know, the ones supposed to win, gonna win regardless. Because it's so crazy. Because we've had people come on here who are the younger generation and say that the older generation did not take them under their wings whenever they were at the heights of their, you know, career at mm-hmm. that time. So and they c- couldn't understand why. Mm-hmm. Because that's the time when it. They want all that advice to know, okay, don't do this, sign this, don't do that, you know? Right. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, when you get into that, those type of situations, I feel like I learned through them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, some of those situations you actually have to learn through. That's a part of, like, the process. You learn in any situation you go in, whether it's paperwork. When you go on paperwork with somebody, hopefully you're trying to educate yourself on what you're doing over mm-hmm. there. That way, whenever you're not under the paperwork or if the paperwork puts you in a different position, you can put your people in position. Right. You know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? And they don't have to go through the same channels you went through because you already got the information. You can come out with the information. That's Definitely. why a lot of people always say it's always great to have a team. Yeah. Because, yeah. But then to Big me. Big top off being there. Y'all see my little niggas. I know. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know, know, I've been checking all yeah. that out. You know, uh, Push Man Live stay coming yes. through here. Yes. And mm-hmm. the P, they and just the did piece. a video here mm-hmm. Sunday. Mm-hmm. They just, hey, e, can Them I come through? Working. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, man, come through. I don't care. Them boys make me proud. They hey, man, they look up to you, too, the way you do things, the way they be. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, They're I, my dogs. They've they, been there from day one. Yeah, they see. I, hey, they know. I, hey, I, I, I'm giving out as much information as possible. Man, Rob, Rob will that's tell good. you, we talk all the time. Yeah. That's and good. he one of them ones that's trying to soak up. He's so, I was just about to say playing. that. He soak up all he's that information. Else. And no, he's man. so, so sweet. Mm. Oh, yo, that's my dog. I to met me. the nigga in the mall in North Park. We just walking and we just started chopping. That's how he ended up first. So he won the first guest because yeah. we were just talking and walking. And all of a sudden, this this other girl, the one came, Khalees, mm-hmm. the, the one that came mm-hmm, over, mm-hmm. she she smiled and she looked we, when she walked by. So she ain't smiling at me, nigga. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> and then 
I was like, okay, well, uh, you need, I said, man, what's up? He like, nah, man, I'm good. I was like, and so when I walk into the car after I, me and him had chopped it up, I was like, okay. And when I get to the car, she parked by me. I said, hey, she said, I write books and this right here. I said, well, you were looking at my little nigga, you know, I'm talking crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was like, nah, he looked like somebody. I said, no, nah, no. Nah. I said, I said, you were feeling it. Both, I bought my boy. Them, both of them came on the show. That's hard. She had, it's organic. Mm-hmm. She wrote. Genuineness. She wrote books. You gotta understand when, when when certain people call me. You feel what I'm saying? And they put that in my ear. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See what I'm saying like they want you to call. Like I, I've already built that that um that stigma. Yeah, I built that. Please don't call me for BS. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All yeah, my yeah. dogs know that. <laughs> yeah, it gotta so be when, when I, Like when I told you I'm coming, I'm coming. You coming? And and was you here and on saying? time. On time. Him and George oh, yeah. Lopez. Yeah, they on time. G yeah. Lopez, my oh, he'll dog. He'll be here yeah. on Monday. Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah he Monday. always be. He frequent in this. Shout out my dog, G Lopez. Say, man, man, you know God is good, man. He been opening the doors, man. Really, the one, the pinnacles in the city, man. They've been coming through, mm-hmm. and 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 I'm loving this here right here, mm-hmm. man, because I know it's gonna work out, bro. And the thing I, you said 15 years a while ago. We talking 2005, 2004. And 2000. he looks so young. Dude, listen, man. I turned 30 this year. Bro. Wow. You know what? I looked you up. You a July person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. July. Guess I'm a cancer. All three of us, July, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All three of yeah. us, July. Oh, yeah, we the best. <laughs> the thing I, I, I want to ask you, what was going on in 2005 that's not going on now? I know things School. Change. School. I was in school. I was a kid, bro. Like, wow. I had no responsibilities or nothing. It was a lot going on. You love music. It, it was my love for music grown. You really? see what I'm saying? So that's when I figured it out. I figured out I wanted to do music. I liked how my voice sounded on wax. Yeah. Now, i say maybe 2010 is when I figured out that, okay, it's a business. Like, yeah. uh, you got to, you, this is really, you can eat. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. when I started tightening everything up. And then just from there till now, it's really just been steam. I've been going, I, yeah. I get it. The music but let me ask you crazy. a question. In the, in the beginning, you knew you had confidence in yourself, but sometimes it takes somebody who is already there to turn around and say, you know what? You got talent. Mm-hmm. You can get somewhere. Was there anybody for you who did that for you? Oh, uh, When I came in the game, I came in the game uh, under some OGs. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, Fam Life Juju and uh, Urban South Pook. That was my yeah, manager yeah. and the label I was under. So I had got a lot of game from them, them dudes, you dig what I'm saying, coming mm-hmm, straight in. Mm-hmm. And I'm fresh off the press trying to get it. So who found you? I mean, what you mean? Who found me? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know how like you can discovered, be so, discovered you. I can't say nobody discovered me because even prior to me doing business with um with um Fam Life and Urban South, I was already doing millions of views. I just was trying to sharpen my okay. blaze because okay. okay. I that, I had already seen the foundation they had. They was doing with Gerard Patton at the time. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, I was like, I, I need some type of structure. Like I understand all of this, but I need the structure now. So that's when I went over there and did that with with, with, with Fam Life. You dig what I'm saying? And now we family forever. Just learning that business and then. I transitioned from Fam Life, and then that's when I went and did business with Dirty Water Music Group. Yeah, yeah. And I learned the scale of the structure of the business on a way bigger side. That's when I started seeing radio. I started being on TV. Like I start, and I start understanding how that works. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like everything you do be dope, bro. Like, like even when when Earl Spence came out to your music, I, I don't know. Organic. I didn't even know how that happened, but it it was it it set the pace for everything for Dallas. Dallas was. Yeah. I believe that made Earl. He was already big, but I believe that just gave the unity. Yeah, for sure. I'm being real. But I, he told he told me he was coming out to it. He said he said when he get his first title fight, that's the record he coming he, out to. That nigga came out and performed. He came out. He moved fast because where he was at and they was throwing them cakes at him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I just appreciate that so Man, much. Man, I'd never forget it. You know what I'm saying? That's something that stuck out to me. When, yeah. when, and he's he still undefeated. That was his first bill. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, a part yeah, yeah. Of, I'm a part of his legacy as well as he a part of mine. Like, so that's so dope. And me, you know, Earl went to see the Hill. So yeah. I, I know I know Earl when we was way back in the gap before, yeah, 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 before yeah, yeah. he really even started doing the Olympic training and yeah. stuff. So wow. that's my I have dog. never got to meet Earl. Me and Thomas, we rock. He a good dude. You know he Thomas, right? Dude. Who is Thomas? Thomas, he be with him a lot. Like, Thomas, my That's my guy. Yeah, I, yeah like, that's like, my guy. Yeah, okay, yeah. There you me go. and him, we always just chopping it up and yeah. on some, he be with his son like you. Uh-huh. And me and him, I'll be like, he'll say something sometime. I'll be like, dog, don't be doing that. You don't need, it's, it, I'm older. So I'm yeah, a, yeah. like I had to check mm-hmm. one of the mm-hmm. one of the mm-hmm. bloggers a day. Like, hey man, don't do that. We don't do that. We, yeah. we, we lo- it's love. love and yeah. don't don't tell people they got to do this or that. Just show them in love that this is how you got to do it. For sure, for when you sure. get but older, you got to be, yeah. To do that because yeah. Yeah. a lot of times we you don't You got to pull them back in, bro. Yeah, for but, sure. But, but, but at the end of the day, he was like, nah, you know, we, we get right back talking about the father and son because I got kids and stuff. And mm-hmm. I see how y'all, see, they give us a bad stigma. We got some good fathers out here, man. 
And, sure. and, and you know, and and I, I'm just looking at you, man. And and this what this what make me. I'm an engineer, so I be hiring people, and I look at like a lot of times be brothers that single single uh, me, and I hire them in a heartbeat. For but sure. <laughs> because I like, man, this brother doing this on his own, or that my co-host there who love kids. Like yeah. it's some, it does something for me to see a good father, just yeah. being a man and trying to be a good father. That's my son right there. That's tough. The yeah, yeah. So you know, that's how I go down, man. We got to do it because they give us such a bad, you know, bad man, stigma, man. When, when I see when I see people out here that ain't handling that business, I'm like, man, how can you look over yourself again? Right. Like, that's you. Right. You just look, you just going to neg- you neglect tripping. you. You like, tripping. You know what I mean? You're, you're but tripping. a lot of time, a lot of the time it be, it be self stuff going on with people, man. You know, bro. a lot of these people need, you know, help. Yeah, yeah, too, yeah. So. But, but I and, love and a lot spirit, of them, bro. They scared to ask for that help. Like, man, if you if you want to be in your kids' life, man, you know that you ain't financially there, man. You need to be trying to draw in as much help as you can, man. Yeah, was your father in your life? For sure. Yeah, that's see, that that makes a difference. Oh, that, make a, that make a huge difference. My father was in our life. He died, but he, when he was here, he was definitely uh, in our life. And, mm-hmm. and that's so funny because a lot of men, definitely was in my life. a lot of men who um, end up doing that to their kids, it's because they didn't have a father in their lives. And sometimes as a kid, they'll grow up and say, I'm never going to be like that. I'm going to be there for my child and mm-hmm. still turn around and not be there for their child. Right. You know what I mean? Some people call it generational sin, but I do find some that are there for their kids and end up being overcompensative towards their kids because they didn't have it. You right. know what I mean? I balance pretty good, don't I? I do you do a great job. I mean, because you got to think about it like, like, you know, two is better than one. Mm-hmm. And three, yeah. co- three, four cards not easily broken. Uh-huh. So when you got like we got a thirteen year old and a, a fifteen year old, and I got my older kids, but I can't I mean, wait, man. I can't it, wait <laughs> till they older enough, old enjoy enough to it. get it. Enjoy, enjoy. No, I'm enjoying enjoy. it. Happen quick, bro. The reason I'm enjoying it because I already get that portion that y'all saying because he was smaller than that. Yeah, yeah, you see it. You see what I'm saying? He you was smaller than that, and then. You just oh. and two kids are never the same. They're they never the same. Them the two same. not gonna be the same at all. They're gonna be totally different. They're gonna be day. tripping. You got them at the same age as we we did ours. Ours are two years apart. Eighteen. We've been together eighteen years, and we got our kids, and they fifteen. They don't 13. need to be the same, and they do not even <laughs> cut each other. I'm implementing yeah. this. I'm implementing two different things in a boy <laughs> and a girl. That's just what it is. Have y'all are, y'all already know. It's gonna be a girl. It's a girl. That's a girl. Oh, That's what's up. What? Yeah, That's a girl. Thank you. Thank you. So you done? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Unless Man. I go, unless I, I, I told next time I get another platinum record, I'm dropping another baby. <laughs> <laughs> so Might be twins. Watch out now. I don't care. I got twins in my family. You do? <laughs> hey, I got what twins in my family twins. for sure. Twins. That's in the bloodline. We do too. We're so everywhere. It can most definitely happen. Happen. Yeah. So. <laughs> Let's get to the music, man. So you you a master with the pen, nigga. I already been looking at some things. Mm-hmm. You, he write all his music. He write mm-hmm. not only his, he write other people's too. He's good. We well, I don't know if he's gonna disclose all that, but I know he do a lot of work, mm-hmm. and that's a blessing to be able to even do that, bro. Man, it's a big the biggest the, blessing out here. Yeah, cause and you you don't have to be on the forefront when you do it that way. Man, you, know? you get to watch the budget. You get to watch the that's videos. What I'm tripping you get on. to watch. That's what I'm tripping on. And you get a check for everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Get a check and you get to sit on your little ass at the house. That's it. That's it. Ain't nothing. I, I'm telling you, ain't nothing Which wrong with that. Which one do you that. prefer? You prefer rapping or you prefer just writing? My love for music is will always be there. So I always make the music, and then God has blessed me with the career I have, where Lerunny is his own entity. But Runny, right when he writing and doing his own thing, like I go in for the kill. Like mm-hmm. I try to get these folks hits that I don't even have. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know that it's gonna be blessed with a bigger budget. I know that it, you know what I'm saying. It's these are ma- these people I be writing for. We having that major I, I label, know, that I major budget. They be putting Iggy Azalea. Man, like yeah, that's heavy. Mm-hmm. Heavy. I watched them spend three hundred k on one video. Who is the biggest artist you've ever written for? Probably Iggy. 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 Okay. Gotta That's be heavy. Iggy. Yeah, gotta be Iggy. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy went, went big dog. Iggy, Iggy stepped stepped all the way up once mm-hmm. she went in the game. She kicked the dough in. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Now when you look at the numbers, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Oh it's, yeah. It's crazy. How many how many songs do you have that you've written that you sitting on right now? Um I don't even know. <laughs> you just write all the time. It's not even necessarily that. I record them. I, I leave references with like producers and whatnot because the producers are the ones running around shopping the music. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. any of y'all artists out there, they always ask me, how do I get in the writing game? How do, like you can't approach another artist and say, let me write for you. Yeah. They ne- it's never going to work like that. Oh, okay. okay. You need to get with their producers. Get with the people that's already that right there sense. in that corner. That makes so much sense. And, and they already, I never they, thought of they already trying to find them a hit. Like, so 
Obviously, they haven't done it yet because they're yeah. still trying to figure it out. Yeah. So when you come in, you got a hook or you got just a concept or this, that, and the other, man, get with the producer because they're going to hear that and be like, oh, that's for you. They're they like, for know. real? I can have that? That's how they is. They just get excited about it like because it's something they would have never mm-hmm. thought of. Thanks for sharing that because a lot of people listen. I didn't know that. And don't yeah, know. That's, 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 that's what this simple. platform about. Like when you say stuff like that, it can help them to understand how to even make that for happen, sure. bro. And it's, it's, it's super simple, like, or get with their managers, like, they get with their team. If it's somebody that you know you can write for or this, that, and other, don't mess with message the artist. The artists, they don't care about that. Mm-hmm. Like, especially on that level. At that level, they just trying to stay consistent and keep making hits mm-hmm. and stay on the billboards. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's a business from that point. That's why I get songwriting. I had to understand the position of everybody. Yeah. Like, these folks is trying to stay on top. They can't yeah. miss right now, so that's why they ain't writing their own stuff all the time. Yeah. They, they they need extra minds. They need yeah. extra brain, extra um yeah. concepts and things of that nature. Because they got to stay up there. They there. Yeah. How yeah. hard is it to stay on top? As a as one as of those artist. artists. Mm-hmm. Oh. <sighs> because to me, producing hit after hit. So many times we see one hit wonders, or people come up with mm-hmm. something that's banging, and then all of a sudden you can't see them anymore. And you're like, a lot what of times happened? that goes with. That goes with the business. I, okay, I can put it, I can draw a, a, a fine line, a fine print between a lot of things. Um, a lot of artists have a big record. Like, take for instance, if it's your, if you drop a record right now, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna use your example. You drop a record, it go crazy right now, off the muscle, your first song. Mm-hmm. You skipping this right here. You if when you call to do an interview with somebody that got a number one Billboard record, yeah. At this point, they like, I'm not going over there. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. So here they are now. When that record, because every record cools off. That's just exactly. what it is. You yeah, have a yeah. hot record, then yeah. either it's going to be a classic record or it's just going to be one of those records that was hot in, oh, play the song from 2008. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. then you're going to play one of those songs. So, But imagine you have just that crazy knock out the park. You're not running through doing all this stuff. You're going to feel like this is underneath you. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when it comes time for you to do that next record, you don't know where to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. done skipped every radio. You done skipped all yeah, the people that matter. Way. You don't have no foundation because you done because you done blew up too fast. So I always say I like to watch artists grow and slow cook because then when they win, it's like people really like like they get it. You 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 ain't reintroducing you ain't, you ain't you ain't walking in rooms introducing them. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like they been there before. Like ah, I'm, I'm just waiting on him. Oh, he got one. Ooh, they ready. They excited. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. So I always tell art oh, man, you got to go push through and do the groundwork. Touch every person you can touch on the way up because y'all gonna be here. That's it. That's the it. Next per- they gonna that's be it. there. That's it. It's a lot of us that's just gonna be here. So you, you can't get skipped. Co- communication is key. Like you got to be able to deal with people well. That's what I see when I deal with all these people. For sure, you got to be like, you got to like, be a, a people person. You got it, and I think that's uh, that stops a lot of people from growing too. Mm-hmm. But they don't know how to do. Like we just met and talking, and, and we get into it, and and a lot of people can't do that, bro. They're I'm not social. You, I'm telling you that right now. I know because I done dealt with them. Mm-hmm. They can't. They don't know how to come across. So when you become one of them artists, either you're gonna be one of those artists, and you're gonna keep like your energy. You keep making those undeniable records. You built that cult following, or you're gonna be looking for another hit and you're gonna be stuck. And you're gonna be just you're gonna be just stuck. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I look at because even before we did this podcast, right? When I go to shows, I look at a lot of things to to figure out if I like an artist. Mm-hmm. Number one, if I go watch you and you're not working the stage because I might have bought a ticket where I'm over here on the side. Mm. I love let me tell you, one of my favorite artists was LL Cuche because he would work that stage. He'll be from one side of the stage to the next uh-huh. side of the stage. I hated artists that only stayed in the middle. I'm like, what's up with us? We paid mm-hmm. to come see you too, but they just stayed right in the middle. I hated that because you don't know how to work what you have. A lot of artists, you know, um, they come in, like I said, it'd be too early. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They didn't get to go in front of those crowds that don't know their music yet. Mm-hmm. Like the first time they performed was everybody knew the song. Mm-hmm. So... Here we are now when, when when they tell you, hey, you got to start pushing some of these new records, you perform it, and they don't know how to work the stage because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all they know is the song that people knew. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. that's a bless. It's always a blessing and a curse, too. So a lot, I feel like a lot of people need to learn how to perform for sure. Yeah. For yeah. sure, for sure. Man, you, you're you a mastermind when it comes down to videos. I, I've seen you. You do more creative videos than anybody I've I've even seen in Dallas. I, I wanted to ask about real. that because that was yeah, so the awesome. One the one you showed you. me I said, was. Look at this, baby. Let me which tell one, you. Which one y'all watch? Uh, and I'm not gonna say that. And <laughs> fuck it up. Yeah. Oh, fuck it up. But um, I love because to me when I'm watching it, I'm like, 
He needs to be in movies. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the first thing yeah. I'm yeah, thinking that's, about. That's what I'm working on now. Yeah, because that's what I wanted to ask him. Like, because you were good, like really good in it. And yeah, yeah. Just the special effects. It's not like one of these. You know, when you watch these movies, and especially when you saw the blood, I'm like, oh, that's fake blood. No, that blood looked like it was real. I was watching thing. every little thing. thing. It was expensive. And I then know. I wanted to know: Did know. you do your own stunts and <laughs> yes, all of yes. that? Everything did was you me. have to get trained I, for um, it? I, it's really like um, dance moves. Oh, is that Everything what it was is? on a beat. Okay. okay. Nobody can see it because it was like it might have been on a half beat. It might have been on the eighth or the fourth, but it was, everything was on a beat. All I had to learn was the steps, but I had to. I learned the steps a day before. Oh, oh really? but I had them. Listen, I had them a month before. I'm like, man, <laughs> I'm gonna kill this nigga. You know, I'm like, man, I'm not. And gonna you be did really good. Though. How many? How many takes did they have to do though? Um, we did a bunch of takes just because it was a fit. Nah, I, we didn't mess up. When when the cameras came on, we hit. Oh, okay. Oh, me and bro. We was cause we we um we went training together the night before. Okay, we, you know we went yeah. half speed, but when them, when it's time to go that next day, first off when we shot that video, it was probably thirty degrees outside. Wow, mm. wow. We was in Atlanta, mm -hmm. so it was probably thirty degrees outside. I ain't had no shirt on, no nothing. Like we had mm -hmm. heaters out there, it was freezing. Yeah. So uh, we hit. We wasn't trying to do it a, mi a million times. Yeah. It we got to it. So good. Oh, we was. Oh, my ribs was hurting that night. That was you, a three-day shoot. You really got hit? Did yeah, it really oh yeah. Hit you we either? had to just to get that velo the, the velocity of everything. And because the, you know how sometimes right? they be looking like it's because it, I love martial arts movies. Mm -hmm. So when I see you do some of those, you know, I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, I had to learn all that all that good stuff, and then yeah. I, once I learned to put my my um good sense on it, this her Gio, Giovanni yeah. the King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big I seen when he come in. Yeah, so I was like, Feel yeah, me. let me see who this is. Cause I was like, okay, this is <laughs> when I do things. It's out of respect. I keep, oh, for keep sure. it so secluded. For sure. But Did he even text me? Nope. <laughs> he just showed up. It's so that's good. good though. But hey, you know the thing I say, man. The videos. The other one I like that that the one that the one that Earl came out to that video. Mm -hmm. re, is that resolution? New mm -hmm. Year's resolution. Man. New Year's resolution. That was a vibe. No, like, I like the way so you was like you were just by yourself at this house. Yeah, I it was said, a what vibe. Is he? he just out here just singing, and it was it, the song. Just the way. You, I had to get to that money, you know that. Anytime you say something like that, yeah, that's what I'm about. You know, yeah. <laughs> like this nah, fit me real good. Like, easily, yeah, yeah, that's real. That's one of those records I feel like just resonate with anybody. Yeah, and, and yeah. it was it was one of those records that I feel like um, with it being so simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so simple yet complex. Like it's it's that's that's what I be trying to figure out. Like I I really am a student of the music. Like my girl tell you, I go crazy like trying to figure right. out little pockets and Two things, things like you done that. Said that really stick out to me. It, I don't know why I keep thinking about Pharrell because I'm happy the way he just blew it past everything and the whole yeah. world accepted it. Yeah. I keep thinking about that when you keep saying stuff because that seemed like that's the way everybody would want to go. That's how to write that hit. We doing You know that. what I, I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's like I'm happy just went boom. It was know? one of those. And Pharrell has built that catalog of that being a bad But I didn't see a bigger yeah. com bigger record coming for Pharrell like that. Mm -mm. Shit. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I loved But you're a writer, so you you you're a musician, man. Pharrell so. a dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pharrell gave Mystical some of his best shit. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Pharrell a dog. So so have you have you been you you been going have you have, have was she a nominated for any of those? Like 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 Iggy when she was doing when she, when you wrote for what was that? Oh uh, no, nah, but we got um we eligible for two gold records right now. Okay, awesome. okay. Feel awesome. what I'm saying? I just asked because I know that still count. That's that's y'all all together. Once you link uh -huh. it in like that, it's a whole it's a whole vibe. I need I need Gazi to go over there and grab that. Go grab go go grab them records, man. Go grab them <laughs> um gold records. They eligible, man. But so need them plaques. Here. So what's the best video to you that you think you've ever done? That I've ever done. Um, I like to fuck it up. Mm -hmm. I like fuck it up uh, just because I remember when I came up with the concept. Yeah. So it was dope. It was dope how I came up with the concept. So you came up with everything yourself. For sure. Did you direct everything yourself? No, no, no. I see. I have a director. Um, what I do is I, I, I let the direct, I let everybody do their job. I just need, it, need them to know what I need. Okay. This is what I need. And 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 how even how I explain Half it. Half pint didn't shoot that one. Half pint didn't shoot that one. No, he didn't. Oh, was that your most pint, expensive? But he shot the one for that New Year's was. resolution. Pint shot New Year's yeah, resolution. Yeah. But Pint found this um the videographer. Okay. Because this dude that shot fuck it up, he shot throw that ass in a circle. That's he crazy. shot another one called Up in the Earth for me. So that's that crazy. Ass in the circle was a big song for because you. Exactly. When I look at a video like that, and this is um you can even relate this to music. When you do so well and you come out with all of these special effects, how can you top it? How do you top it? Well, he did top it. Well, you can't, you just change, keep changing the concept, yeah, you yeah, know? Because yeah. that right there was really a video. It was dark 
for me. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like it was a real dark how I wanted to do it, I wanted to be the villain and that's what I did. Right. I, you know, I ain't wanna I ain't want to be cliche. Cause yeah. you know in every superhero movie they in they in and they win. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. okay. I but even get tired of the house. I loved it because oh, yeah. it was different. Not like everybody regular, you know. Goku music video. died. Goku, the, the 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 um the superhero died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you me? You it's a twist. Yeah, yeah definitely. We got to monitor quickly too. So <laughs> when you when you when you think about music, should I do top three now or wait? I'm gonna do it with, with you. Oh, oh, or should I do it with? I got another question. Okay, go ahead. I ain't saying nothing. Ask your question. <laughs> Get your questions off. <laughs> How did the pandemic affect your music and your money? Um. Uh, that's a good question. The pandemic didn't didn't affect any music. Um, didn't you make a because song I saw twenty twenty. I did. I made, made a song a... called um, "Pandemic." Yeah. Because you had a lot of music still coming out in twenty twenty. When I looked up your catalog, I'm like, he was still, still pushing work. out. Oh, I was what? going crazy. Still work. Right. I'm like, I felt like it was time to apply pressure because other niggas gonna fall back. Everybody fell back, and you ain't vote. See, see the beauty it. the beauty of this type of business is we you know we got everything in house, so I don't really gotta wait on nobody for nothing. Already, that's, that's see you know what I'm saying. That's the key, really. You, you you know everybody that's around me. I we we've been building each other up. I can't say I built them up because they didn't help me. Yeah, but I just so happen to be the front the front line. You see what I'm saying at the forefront. But we've been together. They've been here the whole time. How did you that, see what I'm saying? How did that concert? I say concert. Wonderful. The other, the other night. Wonderful. And you know we had all the new artists. You dig what I'm saying? The young artists. They got to feel that love. And that's I, what I that's what I need them to feel. I need them to feel that love because. You know, sometimes you lose yourself going in these clubs that don't know you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you jump in front of them and these folks ain't reacting. Yeah. It ain't that they don't know. It ain't that they don't like it. It's just they never heard this before. Yeah. And the first time them hearing it, they don't want it to be in the club where they came to holler at females or they came to dance and do their thing. Like, all right, I don't want no stranger on stage screaming in the microphone. Yeah. It almost got you almost got to put on a perfect show to grab, grasp these people. So we got to put them in front of people that came for them. Yeah, you yeah, see what I'm saying, yeah, and, yeah. and they felt nothing but the love. So I'm like, man, I said the same thing you felt. You feel what I'm saying? You got to go on stage and you got to block that out, and you got to put that same energy on every stage. Wow, as if it's look. That's how I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how do you how do you provide that energy on stage it's a job. every single it's time? A because job. how do like Chick Fil how do Chick Fil A people say, "Welcome to Chick Fil A, oh my God, right. I help you." It's a job. Like because, you got to because be some in days character. you have a bad day. Sometimes something could have you, you, you could have had somebody who just passed yeah. away, and you, you did. have to go I, on. I agree with you one hundred percent. But you know at the same mean? time, it's a job. It's a job. It is a job. When you stop looking at it as a job, is when you. I'm gonna be real. Man, my, my, I lost my granddad. You know, you done been wrong. You done been mean to the wrong fan. You done no. slapped somebody. You done did. Now you got a, a lawsuit. The, these folks, you seen it happen. Mm -hmm. Them was probably bad, bad just days. bad days. Right. And you see how bad days happen when you somebody that people looking at. Like I feel like you need to always understand that this is a job. If you was going to clock in for somebody that 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 had a business or this that and other, it don't matter who passed. If you still clocking in and you ain't taking off, they don't want your energy in there bad. You need oh, to come really? with your energy right. It's a job. It's you still a job. have to clock but in. But not many people can do it because even and that's for those you see, places, you weed, still but, be. But those are the people that you, over the years, like I told you, I've been here, you see them, not, you see them go. Go, mm -hmm. yeah. Because they don't understand that it's a job, too. And then by the time they figure out, it's, oh, this is a job, they done burnt too many bridges. Mm -hmm. Now, Okay, so what I was about to ask you was, little dude, you know, somebody coming up, they ain't in Top Off, and they want to learn about music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and they and they and they look at you and they say, "Hey, man, how do I get myself out there?" Um, what what would you tell them? The best thing I would tell them is do what I did, and what I did was, I didn't say nothing to nobody. I just studied. Okay. I watched how people moved. Okay. Watch what you posting. Yeah. Watch how you posting. The times you posting it. Just yeah. what's getting you traction? That's what's mm -hmm. up. Let me try it. I tried. It don't work. I'm gonna try the next thing. Mm. What work? You keep. What don't work? You throw out. You keep cool. going though. But how do you get seen though? Like, um, I'm I'm a rapper and I want to get seen. I, I know my content is good. Mm -hmm. Do I just do? Well, my you can't thing say you know your content good because literally every <laughs> artist think they content is good. Right, right, right. But do I keep doing my thing on YouTube, Instagram, pushing my stuff out there, or do I go to like record studios? Do I find producers to say, hey, here I am? How you does gotta, that work? You, you, I gotta do that. Yeah, that's a, just a part of the job. That's a part of the game. But that okay. young dude might not even know that. Let me ask you right. this. I'm going to do my top three because okay. I'm going to do it before I get him over here.
Top three artists of all time, man. That are Dead alive. or alive. Any Top genre. Three. Top three. Any genre. She said any genre. See, that's <laughs> Everybody say that, look, right? No, because look, because, you know, people usually ask you, like, rap. Yeah, no, no. I'm just going to give you some, some greats then. Um, I got some greats. Um, for sure, Michael Jackson. <laughs> that's number one. <laughs> His music is so flawless. <laughs> His videos are moving. We get my, my, yeah, <laughs> Like, he's a performer. That's it. You see what I'm saying? You can't you can't take anything from Mike. Number two. Musically. Um, uh, Kanye. Kanye, the richest the black richest man in America. Man in America. But Kanye don't get enough credit for how he arranged music. Man, like he arranges music. Bro. He puts that music in bad. pockets and his mixing is like incredible. Um Number three. I like I got I gotta come with somebody new age. I'm gonna do Drake. Drake. Cause, You're doing Drake. Yeah, Why? I got cause Why? what? Drake. Why? Why? It's like his delivery, <laughs> he, I mean, his delivery is like flawless. Yeah, I like Like Drake, he never too. makes you cringe, is what I'm saying. I, I hear music from people that even if I like them, I can get cringy, a cringy song. Drake know how to stay in a jamming pocket and not make you cringe. Like Future. Future knows how to jam every song consistently. Lil Baby has learned how to do that every song. Every song, that consistent yeah. song sound. So he said uh, Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. uh, he said Kanye, Kanye. Mm -hmm. and he said Drake. Drake. And Drake is, a, Drake is a stem from Lil Wayne because Lil Wayne really. That's real. Hey, that's you know, real. That's my real talk. Why do men never say a female? Look, but I, listen. If you was to say my top oh. five, I would have gave you Lauren Hill because that's what I like. See, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like Lauren. I like Lauren Hill. But you had like the girls him. on here, the rapper Smitty Hawkins, know, and uh, what's they, the other girl? They Unique. Said, yeah, they said they but if, if I was to say some females, it would most definitely be Nikki because when Nikki came in the game, Nikki just like did a dude. She was like a dude. She, she did rap so hard, different dog. to me. She rap hard, like a nigga. <laughs> she was hard. Did you hear what I just said? She was too. She she was hard. <laughs> she go harder than the nigga. I couldn't. I remember when Nikki first came in. I couldn't wait to hear her verse when she had a new song. I'm like, oh, I know she got she something. Go. Mm -hmm. So I give Nikki for sure. Since you want me to throw, <laughs> throw somebody in there, I gotta throw Nikki in there for sure. Already, okay. man. So, man, thank you for coming on Boss Talk. Hey, man, we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we gonna have you back on here. I already told you that, man. Boss Talk 101. And we out.